Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be planning the week of March 29th to April 4th. So I'm, before I begin, I'm actually going to go over like the covers that will be available on Monday. Um, by the time you're watching this, actually no, it'll be available at 12 p.m. Eastern. Um, so I have three covers, which is Belle Rose, Fleur, which is this cover that I have on my planner, and then Castle, which is pretty much um, using Kittness Jess Art's kit, um, or clip art, um, her recent um, clip art set. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Um, if you notice that I'm, I, my hands are like moving, yeah, I was going to do a talk through video, but I changed my mind because it's just like dead silent at the end and I'm just like, I don't know what to talk about, you know? Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed like my Friday's video last week. So I did a budget, um, like pretty much going over my finances and yeah, there's like this building next door. Like, I don't want to keep my hopes up, but I kind of want to move out of here, you know? And uh, plus my parents are like, cause this place is kind of small and one bathroom for four people isn't ideal at the moment. Um, but I don't think my brother's going to move with us when it comes down to it, but we'll see if it truly happens. Also, I don't know what I'm talking about um, on this planner, or I don't know, or what I'm talking about just now, um, like a few minutes ago. But um, I think I was mentioning how the coils, um, Actually, no, I was going, I was mentioning the notebook. So I'll have three sets, three different notebooks um, in three different um, sizes. Um, so I'll have um, lined, grid, and then dot grid. Um, and then uh, it will be in the sizes seven by nine, A5, and B6. Um, so yeah, and then here I'm just showing you the custom scripts. So I had to do some coding. Um, I haven't done coding in a long time, um, so I had to, do some coding and then change up something on the listing um, so now you can add um, the phrase and then which part you want cursive and which part you want simple font um, if you want cursive you could just put the whole phrase there um, but yeah just make sure that you put the phrase and then put which section which part of the phrase or the word that you want um, or which word you want simple or um, cursive if that makes sense i hope that makes sense um but yeah i did make that change and also the simple script um custom like for the tv shows and stuff that will also be available on monday so there's like a jam-packed um release on monday um i'm excited because yeah it is also like almost like i just said also in almost in, 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 like multiple times already um but pretty much i'm excited because the coil planners or coiled planners are going to be available in two months um so yeah it's crazy to think like so far ahead but i want to make sure that i have that time frame to p put it ahead um if that makes sense um so yeah like i don't want to um rush things for myself and plus school it was a is going to end around that time as well so i want to make sure that at least i focus on school other than my shop even though i want to focus on my shop um <laughs> so yeah so here i actually split the um like the longer washi um, in half and I just used the crest press overlay tapes um, just to measure out that um, 15 millimeters um, so yeah I did do a terrible job on cutting the other side so yeah I had to use my scissors and yeah I thought I was out of frame on this section but I was sort of out of frame but that's okay so this planner is actually um, just a smidge shorter so that's why um, the spacing is different um, in my 7x9 planner. Um, I would have done the same spacing, but it would have gone to the edge, and I don't like going to the edge. At least, like, uh, at least, oh my goodness, at least a quarter of an inch um, border around the whole thing. Um, and then the inside is inset it for, yeah, half an inch, so it still has that quarter inch um, spacing between the coil and the box. I don't know what's happening here. Oh. I don't actually know. I don't know. Oh yeah, here I thought I was out of frame, but yeah. Um, I was debating whether or not I wanted to use the date dots or not the date dots. Oh no, the date dots from the kit or I wanted to use foiled, but then I was like, oh, I have my foil book out, so might as well just take it. Um, I would have used the leopard print, but I didn't have 30 or no, one through four. So I was like, dang it. Um, I would have to wait until what do you call it? November to use these, um, the leopard print because it's pretty much whatever's left over of because March, no, February, March, and November of this year 
all start on a Monday. So yeah, um, it's crazy. I kind of like that, um, the look of starting on a Monday for each month. Um, but obviously that's not, um, that wouldn't work because there's only going to be 365 days. Anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Um, I am so slow. Also, I use silver foil. I don't know. Usually when I use silver foil, or no, when a kit calls for gold foil, I use silver foil. And I'm just like, I think this kit goes more with silver than gold. Like last, last week I used um, silver, I think. Um, so yeah, I was like, what am I thinking? It should, I should have used gold, but nope, I used silver instead. So then for the bottom, or no, the yeah, the bottom washi full box, um, I just placed it on the sidebar. Um, and then I alternated the glitter headers. So yeah, it's pretty much going um, diagonally. So yeah, it's pretty much shifted one over. So the color is shifted one over. And then I also did it for the work label. So everything is not like cohesive, like color blocked. Um, I mean, I would like to do color block again, but yeah, that's not the style anymore for me. Um, so yeah. And I should have just wrote out nine to two instead of just slowly writing it out each and every single one of them because I end up using all four colors anyway. Um, so yeah. So this is actually, oh, I forgot to mention, this is actually spring break week. Um, my goal here um, during spring break is at least date the planners. Um, maybe if I can do the academic and the yearly as well, um, but I won't release the yearly late until later on. But yeah, that's for 2022. Um, <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. What was I going to say again? Oh, spring break. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so my goal is to do dated planners and also try to complete as many assignments as I can, um, which is technically my paper also. Last week, um, the paper that I submitted on Wednesday, um, which I just mentioned right now, um, I actually got 100 on it. She, I emailed her, I submitted it at 10 a.m. Um, and then she, two hours later, or no, not even two hours later, an hour and a half later, she emailed me back saying it was 100. I was like, oh, I was like so excited. I'm like, yes, for the last semester, you know? <laughs> so I was really excited. Um, but I don't know, I was stressing on that paper, but. I think I should stress more on the second assignment because it's a research paper. Um, so yeah, that's the only thing. <laughs> so for the sidebar, I actually used two full boxes and then I used um, a weekly box and then a check box. Um, technically, I was debating if I should just remove the weekly box um, because I do track my dinners in my daily planner. I don't really need to track it in my weekly, um, but I ended up just leaving it and then using this, um, the habit trackers on Monday instead because I don't think I will be doing that much things. And if I do, I can just remove the full box um, and put it on the full box sheet and then give or, um, put in my leftovers pile. Um, so then for Monday, I used glitter headers. So you can still use the glitter headers as labels. So yeah, it's kind of a bit busy, but I actually don't mind that look. Um, so yeah, I use that to mark my new releases. Um, and then here I'm just putting the, uh, the last three full boxes down and then I have four leftovers. So I'm going to put that in my leftovers pile. And also my desk is dirty. If you can see right there, I was, and I still have yet to clean it. I'm just like, oh no, but yeah. Um, so for then the top, I wanted to use the deco, but last week I was struggling because there was not enough deco um, or I didn't put it strategically. So, um, or spacing it out properly. Um, so what I did is use a Crest Press um, overlay tape, so 15 mm. Um, also, be a lookout for the overlay tapes um, that coming soon. Um, I'm going to start off with the Dot Confetti, and then I go into the Lux collection. But yeah, I'm just going to start off and see like the tr attraction to that um, first. Um, so here I'm just putting the uh, what do you call it? The deco pieces um, strategically, but I had enough um, for this week. But last week I was just like struggling, um, but I really like the look of it um, because it adds a bit of sparkle, but um, it still has the deco pieces at the top. And I really liked how like the sizing of it, um, it's big, but it's not too big, like there, um, if that makes sense. So I did have a few pieces left, but I just left it out. So then here I'm just putting down some labels i almost forgot my cat's birthday technically it's the day we got her um or gotcha day um but yeah we we marked that as her birthday um if that makes sense and then here i'm just using the hello um scripts that just released last week um on my 
on Monday, or no, no Monday, Thursday, um, to mark out that it was going to be April. So then here I'm just trimming off the um, hanging deco pieces at, over the edge. And yeah, if you can notice, yeah, that top corner, uh, the left corner, it's dirty. Um, I should clean that. <laughs> That's disgusting. Um, but anyway, also, I'm actually applying for like full-time position jobs now. Um, I was going to wait until um, September, but I might as well just apply now to see what my options are, you know? And I don't know if I really want to work for school anymore due to that situation that happened. Um, so yeah, I kind of followed up with my supervisor and apparently the school, it went above my supervisor's supervisor. So my supervisor's supervisor had to bring it to the school or the college and they determined that, yeah, he doesn't have to pay. I was just like, I mean, what? Uh, I was just like, so he, it's okay. Like my, I, my thinking right now is like, it's okay to yell at the first person that responds and then you get your waves, um, your balances waved. Like, I rather have someone really deserving to get the balances waved, not someone that's yelling at the person that's trying to help them or telling them that this is the situation. Like, I was just so aggravated at that point. I was just like, whew, I just needed to take a cool, uh, like a break. And I was just like, why, you know? And then last week I had two meetings with, or technically, yeah, two meetings um, with my supervisors and my coworkers. Um, he wants me to do financial aid lines and I'm just like why why <laughs> like can't other people do it like they see me do so well and I'm just like I know you guys want to push me further and do more but my life isn't more you know <laughs> I don't get paid enough to do so that much you know but anyway yeah that's my only thing so I'm looking for other opportunities so I kind of want to further my opportunities um see what's available at, um, at the moment because of that situation so yeah um anyway i actually marked down all the videos um so i'll have my weekly plan with me this um today um and then wednesday i'll have week 12 and then i believe friday is week 13 yes um so yeah this is pretty much the final spread i hope you guys enjoyed this plan with me i see you guys next time bye